recently learned about augmentation biological control, which is the release of natural enemies into the landscape to manage pests. And one of the insects that we talked about was the lady beetle. Lady beetles are wonderful predators. They feed on a variety of soft-bodied insects, particularly aphids, and they also feed on insect eggs. Now there are a number of different aphids in the landscape. There seem to be aphids that feed on just about all of our crops and many of our ornamental plants as well. There are also several different lady beetles. The one that we most commonly release for uh, biological control is called the convergent lady beetle or Hippodamia convergens. And both the adult and larvae of lady beetles are predaceous. The convergent lady beetle is collected in the Sierra Mountains in California. These beetles will all aggregate into one area and overwinter, and that's an ideal spot for producers to come and collect them while they're in their more or less dormant stage. They then ship these out for release around the country. Now one of the problems that was experienced early on is when these lady beetles were released, they flew away. And the reason for that is from their overwintering grounds, they're naturally conditioned to migrate out from that site to look for a fertile feeding ground. Little did they know that when we released them in the garden, we introduced them just to that, a nice place to feed. So to overcome this problem, producers have begun conditioning the lady beetles. They'll bring them into their insectaries, allow them to fly around for a while, and that gets that need to migrate out of their system. They'll also allow the lady beetles to mate so that when we introduce them to our garden, they're ready to lay eggs. And that provides an additional benefit of a second wave of predators in about a week or two. We'll find these preconditioned lady beetles often marketed as stay home lady beetles. Lady beetles are generally shipped in cloth sacks in very large quantities. This bag contains 900 living lady beetles. Now, there will also be some dead lady beetles in here as well. So they tend to put more than the expected quantity in because a little bit of mortality is expected during shipment. So you don't want to be surprised if you see a few dead ones roll out. Now when you receive your lady beetles, you want to be ready to put them out in the landscape. But sometimes that's not possible. You can hold your lady beetles in the refrigerator for a few days. And also it's advisable to put the bag in the refrigerator before you're ready to release. The cool temperatures will slow down the activity of the insects and that makes your release a little bit easier. Now when you're ready to release, you want to mist your plants. The, the beetles are going to be hungry and thirsty and you want to give them a little cool drink which will help keep them around in the landscape and keep them on the plants where you release them. So just give your plants a light mist and then you want to distribute the beetles evenly throughout the area. These 900 beetles are enough to cover a 1,000 square foot area. And I'm just going to let some of them crawl up out of the bag. You can also dump them out. So you want to distribute them on several different plants. So move around the landscape and evenly distribute them. You might see some of them flying away and that's okay. This isn't their migratory flight. This is just a flight to move around in the landscape. Now remember, they're also going to be laying eggs in the landscape. And as those larvae hatch, they'll crawl around and look for a fresh source of food. Also, the adults are going to fly around and look for some eggs or some aphids where they lay their eggs. They like to put the eggs in a site where the food will be plentiful for their young. Now it's a good idea to provide some resources and to also take care of the lady beetles in the landscape. One thing you could do is plant flowering plants around your garden and that will provide some sugars. You can also let some of your herbs and even your uh, brassicas flower because those flowers have very rich nectaries. We also want to be very careful with pesticides. Many of the pesticides that we use to control pest problems can also negatively impact our natural enemies. And that includes our organic and our microbial pesticides as well. So always read the label carefully and make sure that those chemicals are safe for the natural enemies you're using. 
For a fun experiment with your children or grandchildren, find several plants or branches that have aphids. Count the number of aphids on each branch, and then remove any natural enemies that are existing on that branch. We're going to cover each branch with a, a cage that's made from mosquito netting. Release five lady beetles into half of those cages and do not release any into the other cages. And then secure the cage tightly around the base of the plant or branch to prevent any insects from crawling in or out. In a few days, we could count the number of aphids in each cage and then count again in one week and in two weeks. This way we can see how the aphid numbers change over time and how well our beetles are doing in managing the aphid populations.